Hello, hello, hello. This is the Barbara Cox Show. This morning's question is, who will stand up for what is right? Who will stand up for what is right? The word of God says, vengeance is mine. Meaning that God will, God is the person that will avenge whatever is going on in your life. God is the person that will fix it. God is the person that will fight your battle. God is the person you can trust that whatever you're going through, it is going to be taken care of. But there is still one thing that you have to do. You must still stand. You must still stand in the midst of whatever battle that you are fighting. You must still go into the battlefield. Jehoshaphat went into the battlefield. Even though once he got there, the battle was already won. The enemies were already slayed there on the ground, dead. While all the blessings laid upon them. But Jehoshaphat still had to stand up for what was right. He still had to go into the battlefield. Glory, hallelujah. I feel that thing coming on this morning. Ooh. He still had to stand for what was placed upon him. But let's go back to Jesus himself. He still had to go to the, to the crucifixion. He still had to go through the persecution. He still had to go and be placed upon the cross. And the thorn, the crown of thorns still had to be placed on his hand, on his head. And the nails print still were in his hands. And even though he said, Lord, should the, 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 he asked the question, Lord, have you forsaken me? He wanted to know, should this cup, should I drink of this cup? Jesus himself still had to stand. He still had to go through in order for us to have everlasting life. So today you still have to stand. Who is going to stand up for what is right? In order for us to live a righteous life today, Jesus himself still had to stand. He still had to stand up. He still had to go through. He still had to face his enemies and his adversaries. He still had to hear the lies of the hypocrites. He still had to walk them. And among the multitude, from city to city, saving the sick, healing the blind, raising the dead. He still had to do what God had placed in him to do, even though he was going through. He still had to stand up for what was right. What was rightfully his birthright. What was rightfully his purpose. What was rightfully his ordained assignment. He still had to stand for what was right. So today who will stand for what is right? What is rightfully yours? What is rightfully your ordained assignment? Your ordained purpose? Everything that God has placed before you to do. You still have to do it. Even though people are standing around talking about you. <laughs> Y'all know anything about me? I laugh when people talk about me. Because when I was a little girl, I was talked about so severely to the point to where I stopped. I stopped doing what God had me to do. I stopped singing. I shut my mouth. But even in the midst of me stopped singing, I could still hear the songs in my, in my spirit. I could hear them more so in my dreams. I still had to go through my ordained assignment. And to this day, I'm a woman. I don't care how many times you say for me to shut up. I'm going to sing louder. You will hear me roar. Because no matter what you say about me, I still have to stand. I still got to go through. I still got to do what God has placed on me on this earth to do. Who this morning is willing to stand? Who is going to stand through persecution? Who is going to stand through heartaches? Who is going to stand through backbiting? Who is going to stand? No matter what you're going through, God knows the plan that he has for your life. 
But are you willing to stand through it all? No matter what people say, no matter what people do, who is going to stand? Even though you may have one time wanted to quit and throw in the towel and you decided, okay, God, I'm hanging in here. But even while you're hanging in there, you're still going through it. But you still got to stand. That's because you still got to go through and do what God has ordained you to do. Despite of what others may say, despite of what others may do, you still got to stand. You still got to go through. You still got to stand up for what is rightfully your ordained assignment, your ordained purpose. You got to stand for what is right. Your birthright. Your next the de- 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 destiny, your next level is placed upon you standing on what is rightfully yours. Standing on what is rightfully yours in the name of Jesus. Just stand on what is rightfully yours. Do not move to the right. Don't move to the left. Look straight ahead and move forward. You got to man up. You got to keep moving. Women and men of God, we've got to keep moving. We cannot stop. We've got to stand. Today, who is willing to stand for what is right? You don't have to argue your point. Choose your battles wisely. Because this battle don't belong to you. So don't go out choosing battles that was never ordained for you. That was never placed in your path. Don't go out in the midst of somebody else's battles trying to fight because that's not your battle. It was never your battle. And it's not your friend's battle. It's not, it's, it's not your neighbor's battle. It's not your family battle. It, the battle belongs to God. The battles belong to God. He said, I will avenge. He will avenge. It does not belong to you. So if God tells you to be still, that means that he needs you to just stand. Just stand for what is right. Stand for what is rightfully yours. I can tell you guys this right here is a message that is an on time message because I almost walked away from a blessing because I was not willing to stand. I was going through And I was going through it hard. And I had made up in my mind I wasn't going through no more. I hadn't gone through enough. And I was sick and tired of going through. And I wasn't going through no more. So I went to my boss and I said, I'm going to resign. I don't want to do this. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go through this. And it's like. And and it's like. I just felt like. I didn't want to stand. And this was my blessing. I was I was standing in the midst of, of 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 the overflow. I was standing in the midst of receiving an overflow that God had ordained for my life. And I prayed about it. I prayed for it. I believed that God was going to give it to me. And the moment God gave it to me, I was not willing to stand. I was not willing to go through the turmoil, the pain, the hurt, the shame, the frustration, the anger that sometimes comes with a blessing. It comes with the blessing to see are you willing to stand. It doesn't come with the blessing to destroy you. It comes to see if you're willing to stand because God gives you a blessing and it adds no sorrow. It adds no sorrow. How can it not add sorrow when you give it to God? You go on in, you receive your blessing, and whatever darts that are thrown at you, you let God take it because he's going to shield you because the blessing comes with no sorrow. It adds no sorrow. So why is the pain, the hurt, the frustration, the anger making you leave your birthplace? Why are you giving up your birthrights? I know you're hungry. But don't give up your birthrights. Stand for what is right. 
Receive your blessing. Endure the hunger pains. But don't abort the blessing. Don't abort the blessing. Don't get rid of the baby. Because of the birthing pains that you endure. Go through the birthing pains. Because once you lay eyes upon the baby, the birth and pains don't matter anymore. They don't matter no more. You don't even care about the pain. All you see is the blessing. All you see is the baby, the precious baby, the precious lamb of God. That's all you see. So today, are you willing to stand for what is right? Stand for what is rightfully yours. Stand in a place that is rightfully put there for you to flourish. Don't hang yourself. Use the rope to jump from one place to another like Tarzan. Oh! Go from one place to another. But don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hang yourself. God has given you a rope to use as leverage to go from one place to another. And don't you let those enemies destroy your blessing. God has given you those enemies so you can take those enemies, as he said, and he'll use those enemies as your footstool. So then you stack those footstools to where they take you to the next dimension. Are you willing to stand on those footstools and go to the next level. The place where you flourish. The place where it's filled with milk and honey. Are you willing to stand in that land even though there's giants there? God's going to fight the giants for you. He's giving you the weapon. He's giving you the tools to slay the giant. So are you willing to stand for what is rightfully yours? Who is going to stand today? Who is willing to stand today? Who is going to stand today? Who is willing no matter what you're going to stand? Stand for what is rightfully yours. Are you willing to stand today? Are you willing to stand despite the heartache, despite despite the pain, despite the frustration, despite the anger, despite even knowing that there's no fairness in it? You can see the, the unfairness in you. You know it's not right and you know it's not of God. Some of the things that people are saying and doing. But then God has placed you there as this light, this lantern, uh, this light that draws them to Christ. You are placed there to, to be that beacon of light. You are placed there to be the example of Christ. You are placed there to draw all of that hatred, all of that anger, all of that frustration out of that place. That's your birthplace. You are birthing something out so amazing that is going to touch the heart of those that are around you. And it's hard to see that when you're going through hurt and you're going through pain. But you got to see past the pain. You got to see past the hurt. You got to see past your frustration. You got to see past your anger. You got to see past your heartaches. You got to see past all of that. That is trying to keep you from staying in that righteous place in that place that was ordained for you to stand in this right now season who is willing to stand for what is right for for what is rightfully yours are you willing to stand I'm grateful to God that he spoke through my boss And told me to stand for what was rightfully mine. My boss did not receive my resignation. My boss did not receive 
the frustration that I left.